Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. Okay, so I got this example from a cost estimate book which is asking to prepare the bill of quantities uh, for a soakage pit. And remember, soakage pit can be a porous wall chamber that allows water to slowly soak into the ground. Okay, that means um, the, the waste water or the sewage is just filtered into the ground. Okay, and then the the, the solid materials stay uh, inside this pit and then our uh, data just removed okay i'm not talking about the water treatment okay our approach is just to prepare the bill of quantities for this soakage pit and as you can see these diagrams okay this this represents the plan and this one is the uh, cross section or you can say long section okay long section can be a pretty good word for this Okay, so we're gonna prepare the, the bill of quantities and I'm gonna do this work in a nice table, okay, which contains the column of number, then the description, okay, then the number of items, length, breadth, height, or you can say depth, and then the quantity and just remarks column for detailing if needed or necessary. Okay, the first thing as you can see, it is asked to calculate the excavation, okay. So number first, we got excavation. And as you can see, just look at to the long section. This can be an excavation path, okay? You can say we got two types of excavation, or you can say uh, the two portions, okay? One, the upper portion, which is this long rectangle, and the lower portion, which is just this small rectangle type, okay? So let's, let's talk about the upper portion, and then we'll go ahead for the lower portion. Okay, just focus on the upper portion and that is only one in the number. Now, what is going to be the length? Just look at our hair. There, we don't have length or breadth, okay? Because it is circular and plan. That means we're gonna work the length breadth and we're gonna take the length breadth is in form of pi d squared divided by four, okay? Because length and breadth, that can be the, the area of a rectangle and here we have a circular section or a circular plan. That means we're gonna work this guy is pi d squared divided by four. Okay, so I'm gonna make room over here and I'm gonna say pi d squared divided by four can be the area in the plan, okay? And that d, or you can say the diameter over here can be the summation of uh, 300 centimeter and then the wall thickness for both sides and that is of course you can say 15 centimeter because it is 150 mm or you can say 15 centimeter so that means 15 centimeter one side 15 centimeter another side so 30 centimeter that means we got 330 centimeter and then we got the brake ballast and that is of course 20 centimeter for one side and another side okay that means the total diameter over here we got is 370 centimeter or you can say 3.7 meter okay so pi times 3.7 square divided by 4 that's the area in plan and times the another column which is the depth or height and that's of course 9 how 9 over here just look at over here that's 800 centimeter plus 100 centimeter that means 900 centimeters or 9 meters, okay? So just multiply these four columns or you can say the area times the height times the number of items and that's of course the quantity which is 96.76 cubic meter. That's so simple, okay? Just look at to the lower portion now, okay? The lower portion is so simple. It is like a circular slab you can say, okay? And number that's also one and I'm gonna use of course the pi d squared divided by four because that's also circular in form, okay, or in shape. Okay, now, which one should be the diameter? Just look at to the section and then look the, the plan, okay? We're gonna work out the area of this circle, okay? The circle which is at the middle, all right? Or the, the circle which is just situated between the outside and inside. That represents actually this portion, okay? All right, and that's gonna be three meter plus uh, 15 centimeter one side and 15 centimeter in the other side for the walls. So that's gonna be, of course, 3.3, .3. all right? That's so simple. 
so pi times 3.3 squared divided by 4 and the height that's of course only 30 centimeter that's given okay in the length section if you see okay just multiply these four or these three items we can get of course 2.56 uh, cubic meter okay at these two of course we can get the total excavation work which is 99.32 cubic meter and that's it okay that means we are done with excavation and another thing we have the brickwork in 1 ratio 6 cement masha okay so simple okay just look at over here the brickwork we got only over here in if you see in the long section okay with uh, 100 centimeter height so simple okay the item number is only one okay if you see the length and breadth we're gonna calculate the 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 parameter of this one you can say okay if you see this green line or this green ring represents the brick wall okay so that means we're gonna calculate the parameter or the circumference of this circle okay the, the central one not the external or internal one okay because if we take the internal circumference the video can be minimum and if we take the external circumference the video can be maximum so that means we're gonna take the an average video okay all right so the diameter can be taken is three meter plus half thickness of the wall for one side and half thickness of the wall for another side that means one wall thickness can be added to the diameter of internal circle so simple okay like three meters plus 150 mm are 15 centimeter okay that means 3.15 can be the diameter for the wall right this time because we are taking the central not the external or internal one okay so pi d and that's of course 3.15 okay pi d that can be the pyramidal or circumference of a circle or this time the wall is circular so that means pi d is the circumference of the wall okay so simple all right the breadth of the wall that's given 15 centimeter okay so simple and then the height if you see that is 100 centimeters or one meter just multiply these four columns we can get of course the wall quantity or the brickwork which is in one ratio six cement matter of course 1.48 cubic meter so simple okay we are done with the item number two now the item number three that's of course dry brick work okay now just look at over here the dry brick work is also the same this you can say uh, the diameter can be the same okay for dry brick work and for the brick masonry that is in one ratio six so it's gonna be straight forward all right the item is one pi d that can be the the perimeter or circumference of the wall or you can say pi times 3.15 okay because the wall circumference or diameter are the same for the dry and brick i mean for the both types of brick works so simple all right then the the breadth you can say and that is 0 0.15 the same because the wall is all over height the same times the height and that's eight meters or you can say 800 centimeters so simple okay just multiply these four we can get of course the dry brick work and that is 11.87 cubic meter all right the next item we got over here is brick blast let me make some rooms all right okay number four we got brick blast and as you can see we got two portion for that one is the bottom one and another one is the sides okay as you can see this represents the bottom one if you see in this section and in the side we got this side in this one side okay and remember these guys are in circular form let's focus on the bottom one in number that is one okay the length breadth that can be the area in the plan and which is of course pi d squared divided by four okay all right so simple pi d squared divided by four now which one dia should i take okay just look at over here at the bottom look at this brick blast okay and as you can see it is just this circle okay which is at the middle point okay so we're gonna make like a, a like a floor or a slab okay which is of course three meter plus uh thickness of the wall for one side and thickness of the wall for another side 
so simple okay so 3 meters plus 15 centimeter per one side and 15 centimeter per another side and that is of course 3.3 so simple 3.3 square times pi divided by 4 and times the height which is of course 30 centimeter or as you can say 0 0.30 meters so simple okay just multiply these and we can get of course 2.56 cubic meter here can be a mistake in the drawing as you can see the wall can be just just like uh, it should go down like like this okay okay but they have shown like that in the drawing so a quantity surveyor should work out everything from the drawing okay not include anything from uh, your side like assumptions okay don't do it now let's focus on the sides that's that's just the circle if you see this green circle represents the the brick blast okay for the the sides and it is as you can see this one it is written in urdu rudi i don't know what's the exact pronunciation of this urdu word okay it is rudi maybe rudi yes okay so in number we got only one okay and as you can see just focus on this green circle again or this green ring again okay the diameter can be taken as the diameter of this ring okay and that can be the central one okay but the parameter you can say are part of the circumference of this ring okay so in number that's one the length breadth that the length can be pi d or you can say uh, pi times the diameter which is 3.5 but how 3.5 okay the diameter is 3.5 how that comes just look at the long section of the plan okay let's focus on the long section okay that is three meters okay internal one just add the wall thickness per one side and another side okay which is 15 centimeter so we're gonna add 30 centimeters that's 3.3 .3 meters okay now look at over here we're gonna come to the center of this brick blast okay not the external diameter may be taken okay if you remember that green circle we're gonna take the center one okay for the perimeter or circumference so we're gonna add half 20 on one side and half 20 on another side that is the complete 20 so 3.3 plus 0.2 that's of course 3.5 okay so simple now the breadth that's of course 0.20 okay that's given just look at over here times the height and that's 8 meter or 8 or 4 centimeter per black blast you can say it is the same height uh, which was taken for the dry brick work so simple okay so just multiply these four we can get of course 17.59 cubic meter okay is the sides brick blast just add them okay we can get the total brick blast which is uh, of course 20.15 cubic meter and then of course we have the rcc work which is item number five and that is the last item okay as you can see it is the slab and it is the same thing okay okay the area can be the same as uh, the brick blast for the bottom okay so simple just do it okay the number that is one okay the area can be pi d squared by four and the diameter and as you can see in the in the uh, you can say in the long section okay the rcc slab and this brick blast at the bottom it is the same okay in the area you can say that the thickness is different however but the area is the same okay so the area can be taken as the same times the height and that is of course 10 centimeters or you can say 0 0.1 meter just multiply these of course we can get the rcc work which is 0 0.855 cubic meter and that's it okay here is the final result Hey, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Engineer Boy.